Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. I want to start off with, I am so sorry. I did not have a video on Sunday. I, like I said, my life is, everything is just, I feel like a big cloud on top of me right now. So long story short, I had to go away for the weekend. I was at my father's place and he turned 80 on Monday. So I am excited. Happy birthday, dad. Um, had a good time with my family and now I'm back home and we're back at it. So today I am going to do some of these. I've had this mold for a long, long time. Some um, bottle openers. I figured I would do them as some Christmas stocking stuffers for myself, for my family. And yeah, so we're going to play around with those. So I've got my resins up in my kitchen sink in a warm bath so that um, my basement's cold and it's so thick. So it's easier for me to warm it up. It does, when you warm it up though, it does shorten the time you have to work with it. So remember that when you do that. And yeah, I'm going to get my working clothes on. And when I do do my resin, I do wear my mask. I do have gloves on and I have my Dyson air purifier on as well. So when I come back to do the rest part of the video, I will have no mask so I can talk to you and I'm choosing to do that, but please protect yourself when using resin. So with that, I'll see you guys in a second. Hello, we are back. I am going to actually, I see a few things in there. I'm going to get my masking tape. And I'm excited. I bought these a long, like way back when I first came out and I have not done anything with them. So I'm just gonna, ah, my fingers stick to the tape. There's some glittery in there. Go figure, there's glitter. How does that work, eh? So, not sure if I mentioned, I'm thinking these would be some cute little stocking stuffers for my Christmas stuff, for my family. So I thought I would, um, yeah, get that done. So I have, this came with the kit. And then, like I said, I bought this way, way back before the summer. And I, Sherry being Sherry, I bought, I found the link to buy the extra hardware. So I will link both of them in the description box. I don't know how much it takes. I have mixed up six ounces of my crystal resin, resin of choice. When I was mixing, I was using my <clears throat> respirator. I am choosing not to wear it. I have my gloves on, my Dyson air purifiers on. So please, please use your PPE. So today I'm going to do a couple of different things. I'm going to do these two, I am going to try and do my flower bloom technique. So I'm going to pour clear resin, just enough in the bottom of these two. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's one. And then I'm going to let them sit. So I don't want to go too, too full, right? Because I want to mix white. And I'm going to put white on these three. Um, and that will be the background for some flowers and some steampunk. Perfect. So I'm going to let that sit. Now, um, yeah, what the hay? I'm just going to put it all in. So there is, whew, it's hard to read. This one is hard to read. There's five ounces in there. So with the casting, and I hope it works because it looked like there was, um, that it wasn't going to come out. I haven't used this in so long. I'm probably gonna have to buy another one, which is kind of sad. Now, let me find, I had to take the lid off. I'm trying to find, 
I have those little things that you squeeze. Oh, there we go. Let's just see if I can manage. I can never get these to work. People say that I should be using this to put my resin. All right, I'm gonna do 20 drops because there's quite a bit in there. See, I can never get it to work. You know what, I'm just gonna pour, mix this in. I have no idea, guys. There's such a large amount there. Oh, my ribbon is stuck to my arm. That's hilarious. Okay, we're going to give this a stir. And when doing this, remember, guys, you need to let it sit for that effect. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour those three first. There. Nice white. And you see me pour. I have no clue how much I put in there, guys. On a normal day when I do it, I do measure it out. I do two ounces of resin. And I do anywhere from 10 to 20 drops of this Casting Craft Opaque Pigment White. You may also use um, the Lares Angel White as well. You may also use that as well. Um, anything that does like the nice lacing, I think, would work. So, all right. I might put more in it. We'll see. So I'm going to put... Oh, my gosh. Fill this up. And then once I get all these in... Oh no. Once I get all these in, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm what I have to put in them. Oh no. I'm going to turn my fan off cuz blowing it. My heater, sorry. Okay. This one work its way down to the end. Oh no, that might be too much in that one. Just wanna make sure that it's just the bottom layer. And then up here it's not there. That's good for that. That's good for that one. I may have too much in this one, but that's all right. So with what's left, me being me, I'm going to scoot a little more of the casting craft in it just because I want to make sure I'm going to get the effect that I want. There we go. There we go. And what's left, I'm going to do, just pour a base of, in the coasters. So this is just a um, Ziploc bag. I've got it in here just so I can pour. And you know what, I'm not going to, I'm going to pour that much. Because I think that should be, oh, maybe a little more. And then I'm going to scoot this like this, I think. Bring up one of these lovelies. And we'll pour some of that resin in there. So I'm going to let that sit for just a minute. I'm going to try and get rid of some of these bubbles with my little wee wee torch, which is where it is. <laughs> Perfecto. That's a lot in there, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pour it in now. And we're gonna do something with these. Let's 
Let's see if I can get two out of there. I like picking it up, guys. Perfect. There's one. I'm going to do two. Actually, where are my little earring things? I think I might put... Everything is everywhere, guys, and I apologize. <laughs> I don't know where I put them. I'm crammed on my table somewhere. Anyways, that's fine. Maybe what I'll do is... Um, One of these ones. I'm going to grab another board and I've got one of my wavy ones and we're just going to put the rest of that in there. I know you can't see it but I will show you. it out. You want to scrape it really good. Perfect. That is that. And I'm just going to there. Might not be anything, but I'm just going to put it on this tray. There. We'll set it down here. I'm going to Too many things around me. I'm just going to set it behind me here for right now until we can get this done. I'm going to give these guys just a little bit of a torch. And I think these would be pretty as a base for maybe some Christmas. Being Christmas is coming. And oh my goodness, there's a hair. All right. Okay. Now, let's see. I don't know how long it's been, but we're just going to do this. So remember, if you're finding it's too runny, your hole may be too big. So um, let me just find my scissors. Cut the smallest hole you can. Let me just see if I can. There, see, it's small, it's coming out. Just a little bit. So I'm going to try and see if that works. I don't want it shooting out. Maybe a little bit more because I can't even squeeze it. <laughs> and my eyes are so bad, guys. There, that's better. See, it's coming out, but not shooting out. I'm just going to wipe off that. And we're just going to do a little I don't know what pattern what are we gonna do let's just do we'll do a normal flower and see what comes Maybe we can do a little, a little wiggly line down. I don't know, something, we'll see. It might look like nothing good. And this one, how about we just do, do circle, I don't know. How about we do like curly Q all the way down?
and we'll see what they look like. See, and I still have a lot left. Hmm. Oh, maybe we'll put it in here. Just a base, and then we can do something with that. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's starting to work. I'm going to try and find my earrings. And I'm going to put a base in the earring drops. And then that way we can maybe put flowers on it or something on the back. So I'm going to set this here for the moment and I'm going to go through what I have. So in my little brain, I have dried flowers, which is fine, but I also have these. This, like I said, I used to make jewelry and these are all steampunk like clock parts. And here as well. Now, I was very blessed. I did a course in Toronto with this amazing lady. Her name is Lisa Pav Pavelka. She is a polymer clay, but she was introducing her, um, oh my goodness, um, the resin, the UV resin. Oh my gosh, my brain is fried today. UV resin. So this is all the products that she had. And I had bought her light from the class and I was so excited. It was fun. And I will show you once this is curing and I'll come back and I'll show you what I used to do. I made um, cancer jewelry. I made um, support military jewelry and stuff. So I'll I'll find all my stuff and I'll bring it when this is cured and show you. So, but that, yeah. And then you can do other things. Like, I don't know, I was thinking this temporary tattoo. My dad's a Montreal Canadiens fan. And I just want to do a shout out there. Today is Monday. Today is my dad's 80th birthday. I want to wish him the most amazing birthday from the bottom of my heart. You're the most amazing father ever. And yeah, so with that, I'm going to let this cure. We're going to come back. This is going to get a coat of glitter, probably, just because it's sherry. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, we are back. These are dry, well cured for this part. I'm excited. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to flip this around. I don't know if you can see. Look how this one turned out. I'm excited to see it on the other side. And the other one turned out cool. So... With that, again, I've never made these before, so I'm not sure how many um, things I need, how much ounces of resin. So I mixed up eight, <clears throat> and I know that's way more than what I need, but I will be um, doing some other extra coasters so I can do some more Christmassy things on top. So with that being said, I have chose to do just like I used to do all my other coasters with the flowers, I put a colored glitter on the back so it shows through the flower. So these two, one will be this amazing blue. These, this is from Crystal Resin. This is jewel, jewelry blue. And I will throw some of my blueberry sparkle in there for the glitter. We'll do that last. And then the other one is going to be pink. And this one is called Red Rose Red from Crystal Resin as well. And from Laura's Art Corner again, this one is Magenta Sparkle. So I'll mix those two together. And on the other ones, I always do bite off more than I can chew sometimes. On the other ones, I have decided, like I said, I took that course with this amazing lady, um, Lisa Pelalka. I'm probably saying that wrong and I apologize. And she had this kit and it comes with different things you can put in the resin and I also bought like I said I've had these for a decade I've also bought all these parts so I'm going to <clears throat> attempt to maybe I will put it on something yeah I got a plate here we'll just dump it out on a plate and look at all the little pieces so We will do some funkies. And I figured, because my, and I've got my dried flowers. So I'm trying to find all these little ones that'll go in. Oh my 
goodness. A piece of hair. What is with that? Oh my gosh, guys. There. So I'm just going to... This stage, I'm taking my glove off so I can pick these up. And I'm just putting them all in. Any which way. Big pieces, little pieces. If I can literally pick them up. Like all these little wee clock parts I think are cool. And then once the resin goes on top, it'll, you'll have to play around with it. I don't want the big clunky things. There we go. And then under this bucket, what's in here? You know, bigger. Just want to make sure you're not over cover <clears throat> covering the, um, The little knobs, the holes, or the screws. Well, I guess so, yeah, because you, anyways, I think it'll work. Yeah. We'll do one steampunky and then we'll do two of them with the flowers. I think <laughs> so I'm gonna move that actually that's what I was looking at this one will do because this one has all of these little hearts and keys butterfly let me flip it over fleur de -lis. Heart, butterfly. And a key. Another heart. And then that one I'll do the flowers. I'm excited because I've had this, like I said, doing this for decades, the jewelry. There. Kind of separate so you don't have two of the same thing around. There. They'll float around once I get the resin in there anyways, but that's that. And then, sorry, I gotta take that off my finger. I just gotta, I'm just gonna move this right on over here, out of my road. And I've got my flowers here. Let me see, I've already got some opened. I got these two open, so let's play with these ones since they're already open. Oh, come on, Sherry. There we go. And we'll see what we can put in there. Like these. Find little little things. There we go. I think this would be good. You can kind of place that in there like that. And then another one on the other side.
and then will you see the white oh yeah you will okay maybe we'll do there's yellowy ones over there oh this one That's not quite big enough. Oh my goodness, Sherry. Nope. All right, let's try the open the yellow one. Oh my goodness. I don't want to make a mess of them. I just thought this would pop better on the background than, yeah, there we go. There, I think that's it. You don't want to go overboard. Ah, that would have been pretty in there too, but I'll leave it out. I'm restraining myself. All right. Here, I'm just going to put them back in the container that I had them in. I bought this little, um, I'll show it to you. I bought this little thing at the dollar store, and that's where I keep my dried flowers. So that's pretty cool. All right, move that out of my way. And let's get at this resin because it's been sitting for a bit. So we are going to pour some in this and some in that for those two. I think I'm going to do there. Let me see. Are they about the same? Maybe a little more in this one. I, like I said, I hate putting glitter and stuff in this container. All right, so we're going to pour on here, and hopefully, I'm going to go slow, not to move them around. Perfect. Okay, now this guy. So I'm doing Christmas and I'm thinking these would be cute because my, my brother and my sisters and sister-in-laws, um, we don't normally exchange gifts, but I thought... I'm dripping, oh my goodness. And I took my glove off and didn't put it back on. Let me just get this. go and I'm going to take my little um, one of these guys and just brush off all of this so I don't have to worry about having to clean off the edge Are 
good. Awesome. I'm excited. I think it's going to be pretty. Okay, let me put another glove on here, guys. I'm sorry. And there we go. Okay. All right, we're going to mix up some glitter and stuff to put on the backs of the other ones. Oh, I really love the flowers. Those look really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of this blue. Just a little. I would say just a little, and then I end up being a lot. We'll try that. I'm just going to... Oh, it's getting hot, so we have to hurry up here. Yeah, that's pretty. And then some of the blueberry sparkle. Oops, not the oh gosh side, but the other side. And I'm just dumping a good couple shakes because you want the glitter to go through. Oh yeah, see that's going to be pretty. All right. All right, let's see this one. We will do the blue. goodness that was the perfect amount oh my god there's a little bit left so we'll leave it at that we will do the pink and do the same just a little there we go I will be doing some coasters like that that for me, it looks like it's going to be pretty cool on the other side. Pretty cool. All right, and some magenta sparkle. I'm just giving it a couple good shakes. I want to move that because I just... sideways so we can get a better look. There we go. This one I will scrape everything out because it doesn't oh no 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 my table all right there we go all right with that I'm hoping this is not okay I'm going to get this torched, just my little kitchen torch, just do the bubble parts, don't go crazy with it because you don't want it to ruin the molds. And I don't want to ruin the mold because I bought all these extra parts, which I'll link. I'm going to use my 99% alcohol, we're going to give it a spray, you use that to burst the bubbles. And with that, my friends, I'm going to put some more white in this that I did the other day, or like this, so I can do more coasters. And we will see you in the morning when this is all dry. 
Not so much dry. I guess the word is cured. All right. Yep, just mixed up some more white. So when I do my video and I don't have the mixing part, that is why, because I've just decided to mix it like that. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to do another spritz because it looks like a couple more little bubbles in that side. There we go. Maybe I have to pop them. There. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Hello, we are back. These are cured. I'm excited. I've just got my little screws that came with the kit. They were in this little bag. I put them here just so I had an easier spot to grab. The mold also came with five of the op openers and a little screwdriver. So I'm excited. I think they turned out beautiful. Oh my, my. Okay. We'll get these guys out first. Amazing. I was sitting here looking at them and I'm like, oh my goodness, no. That I was thinking this was on the wrong side, but it's on the right side. Because when you open, you want it to be on the top. So that was pretty good. I thought for a minute I had it the wrong way. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. That is pretty. I'm excited to see this one. So we're going to leave it to last. So I know what everyone's getting this year. Oh, come on. Get out. Get out. Get out of there. Oh, those are kind of cute. That's the steampunk one. All of the clock parts. Watch parts. All right, guys. This is the bloom. My flower. Oh. Are you, the glitter looks nice. You ready? You ready? Oh, that turned out amazing. Love it. The only thing is, this one's on the wrong side, but that's all right. And that would be the same with this one. But I am excited. I'm going to try to do this way on an actual set of coasters because they look like. Look at. Look at. It looks like. um. Oh, what are those? Anyways, long flowers. Oh my goodness, I can't think of it right now, but I love how they look like the bell. Very cool. And the glitter, Laura, the glitter, shiny, sparkly. All right, enough with that. Let's get at putting these together. So I'm going to flip these upside down. There is the goes this way all right and then you take the screw I'm hoping it works because I've never done it before and I have to bring it up Screw it in. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Whoops, don't want to lose any of those. Just trying to think. See this one. Oh, did it break off? It did. Look at <gasps> Unless there wasn't one there. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Might be able to just screw it in though. We'll see. We'll have to play with that one because it looks like something happened with the actual 
little hole. I'm thinking if I start a little, I might be able to get it in there. Ah, okay, we'll leave that one. On to the next. These both have holes. Oh my goodness. And if you pay attention, there is a side that has little grooves so that when you put it in, it goes flush. On the other side, without losing the screw, on the other side, it is not there. Do you see what I mean? So that's the side that you want to put. All right. Part way in there, do the other one part way. At least that's how I was always taught how to do when you screw things in when there's more than one. There we go. I may have to get someone to help me screw them on tight, but look, there you go. It can go on a little bit more, but oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Okay. I'm sad in that one. I may just take a little drill. All right, let's do this. Oh, these ones go on the top. So this goes this way, and this goes that way. And there is a hole there. That's sad. I wasn't thinking on this side that they should be on the other side, but that's all right. I still like the aspect of it. Oh my goodness. I 100% sure I have a screwdriver here not those two not that one but i will find a screwdriver because this little one you don't get a good enough grip to screw it in properly It's too bad that it's on the wrong side, but that's all right. Well, let's get this one. Again, make sure your things are on the... Oh, they give you extra screws in case you lose some. Oh, let me see. There's another screwdriver here. I'm just thinking, okay, I think this is going to be too big, though. Yep. Grr. All right. I'll find one, but that's good. It's in there. We'll tighten it up. That's pretty cool. I'll, I'm going to have to find this one for that. That's, I'm, I think these are cool. Oh, 
Ooh, you can put um, tassel on it. <gasps> Ow! It almost cut my finger. I was trying to get it so that it was the screw was going in straight up and down because it was going in crooked, which you don't want. There's another one. I'm impressed. All right, well, there you go, my friends. I have two spares. So we're going to have to figure out, I'm going to have to, now that I found all my jewelry tools, I have, oh, oh I never thought these might work better because they're easier to, they're longer to hold on to. Let's see. Let's see if we can put it in more low. not going to rattle but it's still this one I don't think the hole is proper let's tighten this one awesome let me see if I can start a little hole what have I got that I can use to I guess I can use the end of this and just tap it just to start the hole for the other screw. Let's see if it worked. There we go. It's going. Maybe. That's funny, that one doesn't have the hole, unless it, like I said, unless it ripped off, but... Here we go. Awesome. Cute, cute, cute. All right, well, there you go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed that. I think they turned out amazing. This has got to be one of my faves. I love how this aspect, hollycocks, is that what they're called? Anyway, the flowers, I'm trying to think of the name of the flowers. And I think they turned out really cute, but with the method that you do it, it you have to have it reversed so you get this on the front. So anyway, I think they're cute. So with that, my friends, I hope you have an amazing day. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and if you could please give it a share hit that bell for notifications and please please if you have not yet subscribed um, please do subscribe and help me get to that 100,000 um, mark my next goal and with that in my description box I have the links to my Facebook page I have the links to my Amazon shops which I'm an affiliate with I also have the links to um, Fundy Molds with the discount code. I have the links to where to purchase Crystal Resin, which is the resin of choice, which we used here today, and the pigments. Also, I have the links to um, where to purchase Tri Art Liquid Glass, and saving the best for last, I have the my two Lorez distributors, the amazing Michelle from um, Artworks Resin Canada. She is my Canadian distributor. Check out her um, site. Use my discount code SherryMolten10, capital S, capital M, 
to get 10% off your entire purchase. And also the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my American distributor where the glitters came from today. Um, my discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10, and you get 10% off her order. So check out those two amazing ladies. And with that, my pep my PayPal link is in there if you would like to donate. And with that, I am done, my friends. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.